talking about you again. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Brian Miller Tech channel and if you could sense a feel of exasperation in my voice, well let me tell you why. Um, this phone has caused me so much pain in the past three hours. Let me explain why real quick, okay? So I've seen so like many comments of people wanting to know how to flash like KOSP or Pixel Experience to their OnePlus phone. So I wanted to make a video for you guys and I'm going to do that here today, but in order to do that, you'd have to go back to stock Oxygen OS, right? So I decided to look all over the internet for methods on how to do this, and I come upon one that I thought was good, right? So basically, what the person in the video um, was telling me was you uh, install like a firmware or a zip file or whatever, you put your phone into fast boot mode, and then you click like a command line or whatever. Well, yeah, I did all that, and then my phone was stuck in a boot loop. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so I tried racing everything again and trying it again. You know, maybe it was just something corrupted in terms of like the OS or something. I don't really know. So I basically, I did all that again and it was still in a boot loop. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> okay. So I was like, okay, well scrap that. I'm going to try something else. So I did. And it was kind of almost the same exact method, but slightly different. So I thought maybe, okay, maybe it was just that one thing that was missing. Well, yeah, no, it decided to do a Qualcomm crash dump thing. So I was like, are you kidding me? For real? <laughs> so I looked on the internet what the heck a Qualcomm crash dump is, and I saw so many people saying it was a hardware issue. I was like, are you mean to tell me my phone's broken now? Like, what is this? I just wanted to make a video. <laughs> but I decided to look up on how to unbrick your phone because I thought maybe it was a bricking issue. I don't really know. But finally, I came up upon one, and it was like Oxygen OS, like way back on Android 9. I was like, whatever, I don't really care. I just want to get Oxygen OS back on this thing. So, I tried the method, and it actually worked. And look at this, Oxygen OS is back. <sighs> all that pain, all that suffering, just for this moment. Yikes. But, we're here today. Today, I'm going to show you how to flash KOSP on your OnePlus 7 Pro if it's on stock Oxygen OS. So this will be fun. Yeah, and hopefully nothing wrong happens during this flashing process. So wish me luck, you guys. <laughs> so the first thing you'll have to do is turn on developer mode. So what you have to do is just go to settings. Um, for, if you're from the top, just scroll all the way to the bottom till you see about phone. And if you see this build number option, just tap it a bajillion times as you see there you are now a developer now next go back go to system and look at that developer mode is turned on right there now next turn on OEM unlocking so if you turn that on and enable it whenever we connect our phone to the computer if you type in a command on the command line it will allow it to completely unlock the bootloader which that's how you basically flash your OS to it so make sure that's turned on now next what I would do is also turn on USB debugging so your PC can do all that computer stuff <laughs> to your phone so next what you will have to do is go on your computer and install some files now don't worry I have a Google Drive link for y'all to use um, today we're flashing KOSP 2.6 and also what you'll have to um, install if you don't already have it installed already is ADB drivers so both of those things will be in the on a link in the description, so you don't have to scour the internet for it. Don't worry, I got you. So next, we're going to go to the computer. Woo! Okay, so now we're on the computer, and as you can see here, I have uh, a folder called KOSP One Plus Seven Pro. And basically what I did was just downloaded the files, and then I just, you know, moved it to the desktop. But just open that. So now what you're going to want to do is connect your phone to your PC. Now, you can use any, like, USB-C to USB-A cable or USB-C to USB-C cable. It doesn't really matter. As long as it can uh, fi transfer files, you're good to go. So, I'm going to plug this in here, like so. There you go. Now, also, just make sure um, on here, you want to make sure this is changed to um, file transfer. Because if it isn't file transfer, it's not really going to work. Also, as soon as you see allow USB debugging, Press allow so we can do all the PC magic. So in this folder I have here, just go to the file uh, file explorer link um, section 
Just delete it and then type CMD and press enter. Now what you're going to do next is type in ADB devices and press enter. And then as soon as you do it for the first time, another pop-up for allow USB debugging will show up. So just press allow. And as you can see right here, it's, it's done it. So if you type it in again, ADB devices, press enter, boom, it's listed. So make sure you do that first uh, whenever, as soon as you plug in your phone. Because if you don't do it like I did the first time, it just didn't work like at all. Like I tried flashing it's like error, 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 no fast food devices. Like, are you kidding me? But no, I went through all the trial and error and I'm going to help you guys. Okay, so make sure you do that first. <laughs> Okay, so now from here, we are safe to go into the fast boot. So what you have to type in now from here is just ADB uh, reboot boot loader. Then just press enter. And as soon as you press enter, your device will boot into fast boot mode. Pretty neat. <laughs> now, as, if I pick my phone up, you can see right here it says the device state is locked. So what we want to do now is unlock the bootloader. And I'll show you how to do that right now. Also, quick, very, 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 very quick disclaimer. Um, doing this will completely delete everything off of your phone. Literally everything will be gone. So if you have special uh, files on your phone, and if you have like photos or messages you want to keep, make sure you back up your phone before doing this. I don't want to be responsible for any <laughs> data loss, so I just want to... Let you guys know, please spec up your phone before doing this. If you do, if you don't really care and it's just like a side phone like me, then that's fine. Go on ahead, but make sure if you have personal data on there to at least back up your phone. All right, moving on. So now we are going to unlock the bootloader. In order to do this, all we have to type into the command line is fast boot OEM unlock, and then press enter. Now on your device, it will have a prompt screen right here. Basically, it's just telling you unlock bootloader or do not unlock bootloader, bootloader. And it'll give you like a little warning. So what you're gonna do is use the volume keys and just select unlock bootloader, then press the power button. And then it'll start a process of wiping your entire phone and the bootloader will be unlocked. So yeah, pretty cool. And as you can see, it says wiping data. Please do not remove battery or turn off phone. I think it's kind of hard to remove a battery in a glass sandwich of a phone, but thanks for the warning, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, it will boot up again, and it'll say the bootloader is unlocked, and it should boot into a uh, clean um, OS install of Oxygen OS. So what you have to do is just run through the setup and just basically enable all the developer uh, developer mode features again and then we can move on to flashing KOSP. All right, so it just booted up from the um, OEM unlocking. So basically just run through the whole process here. I'm just gonna fast degree, fast blah, 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 all that skip. And just, I think, I think setting up offline is fine. So we'll just do that. Just a sec. Next, more, more accept, blah, blah, blah. Come on, let's get this skip. Uh, disagree? Skip. Okay, whatever. Skip. <laughs> I'm just running through this real quick. Skip. Sure. Sure. Next. Go home. Go home. Next. Okay, I don't want to run through the dumb tutorial. Stop. Don't force me to do this. <laughs> Recent. Okay, I know how to use this phone. Just let me get to the home screen already. Start. All right, perfect. So, we're going to go to back to um, the settings. And back to about phone, then we're just gonna boom, developer mode. Then go to system, developer options, and then USB debugging once more. Okay, bam, allow. Now make sure you obviously check. Yeah, see, it's back to charging again. Stop doing that. No, we're going to file transfer. There we go. Now we'll just hit allow, leave that there, and go on to the next step. So we're gonna go back into fast boot mode and just basically type in ADB reboot boot. Oops, sorry. Loader. Up. Oh, stop. Top. That. Dip. 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 There we go. Bam. Enter. Well, obviously press allow. There we go. Bang. 
we're actually getting somewhere. <laughs> now, if you go to fast speed mode, look at there, it says device state unlocked. That's exactly what we want. Perfect. All right. On to the next step once more. <laughs> now, to make sure that our computer can read this, type in ADB devices once more. And it says it cannot connect to Damon. That is wonderful. <laughs> wonderful news. A few moments later. And wonderful news, it wasn't. <sighs> so, after that point, I literally I, I stopped the recording to try and figure out what the heck was going on, right? Because while well, I was in fast boot mode, my PC was not recognizing the device in fast boot mode, which is a problem because you need that in order to flash um, KOS feeds to it. So I was like, okay, well, what the heck? So I tried so many options, but when I had the phone on, the clients weren't matching up. So I was like, okay, well, that's really weird. Why is that? Well, as it turns out, I had like three different versions of the ADB drivers installed on my computer. So it just was having a hard time selecting which one to use to match this one, and it selected the wrong one every time. So <sighs> it took me two days to figure that out, but we're here now. Um, I deleted every single driver that had anything to do related to ADB. Now I have a fresh one, and it should work just fine. So I redid the entire process. So now we're back at this point. So. I'm going to go ahead and trans go back over to the PC, and we're going to do this before, you know, type in ADB devices to make sure it's connected, devices, press enter. Okay, it's good. So we're going to do it the command line, ADB, um, reboot, bootloader. Sorry, I almost forgot what it was. <laughs> and then, oh, oh, I want to make sure it's on so it works. Yeah, okay. Enter. There we go. Okie dokie. Don't fail me now. Okay. So, now we're going to try this. ADB devices. Enter. Okay. Now, here's the thing, though. Last time I did this, it worked, but it did say, like, the list of devices was empty. So, I'm going to hypothetically try this out, <laughs> alright? So stay with me. Uh, we also have a command line we need to put in. Don't worry, I'll have it in the link in the description. Or not even a link, just like I'll have it typed down in the description so you can copy it. So just copy this right here. Copy, and then paste it. Paste it. Oh, come on. Copy and paste. And then press space. And then drag the zip folder to it. And you should be able to press enter. Enter. And it has no Android info dot text. <sighs> it's always something, isn't it? <laughs> well, <laughs> let me figure this out once more and I'll be right back. Well, as it turned out, I had the wrong one downloaded. <sighs> of course. <laughs> I'm just the dumbest person in the world, am I right? <laughs> but okay. Also, I did something wrong as well. Instead of actually typing in ADB devices, you type in fastboot devices. Oop, forgot to press C. De oh, wait, no. Devices. And then it'll actually be listed right there. So, okay. Learning curves, you know, baby steps, right? So, okay. We're going to try this one more time. Copy this, paste, space, remember the space, and we'll drag this one over here. Then we'll press enter. Enter. There we go. Ha! <laughs> All right, so I'll let this run for a little while, and then we'll be right back um, to finish it up. Okay, now we're finally done with the computer. So, now that the OS is flashed to your phone, just Use the volume rockers and go to recovery mode. Press the power button and it will enter the recovery mode, which will, you'll, you'll see in just a second, what that will look like. All right, so from here, scroll down to the factory reset option, press the power button, and then hit format data and factory reset. And then I think you can just, I don't really know which one you do. So we'll just do the first one, format data. All right, boom. 
So we'll press that and just reboot the system. And I think that, sh that should just be it. And would you look at that, the KOSP loading screen. Perfect. So we're gonna, I'm gonna let this uh, boot up to the lock screen and, or I guess startup screen, and then I'll finish the video off. And just like that, you have KOSP on your OnePlus 7 Pro. Oh, this is a long video in the making. <laughs> Well, thank you everyone for watching this video. Um, this took way too long to make than I thought it was because so many problems were going on with my Android and my PC just not meshing well together. They're not very good friends, apparently. <laughs> but in the end, we got it to work out. But um, yeah, if you liked the video, like it. If you love the channel, subscribe. And please let me know in the comments below what you want to see next. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.